the paranormal, y'all. Have any of y'all lived in a haunted house? I have more than one. And let's talk about it. Okay? <laughs> Okay, y'all, we're going to talk about um, growing up living in a haunted house. And a lot of people don't believe in that. And I'm here to tell you, it definitely happened to me. Um, growing up, mm, I forget around how old I was. I probably was like maybe nine or so. And... Um, I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana, and we lived in this house. It wasn't in no strain. It was just in a regular neighborhood. And uh, I remember one night, the hallway light was on, and everybody was asleep, and they used to keep the hallway light on. Uh, you know, you always get that night light. And I remember looking in the hallway and this man was standing there, but it was a silhouette of a man. And to the point where I could even tell, and this was, I was like, like I said, nine. And I remember this like it was yesterday. And I could even tell what type of hair he had. I could even tell his hair was curly. And I could tell it was a man. And I remember laying in the bed, wanting to cry. I was too scared to scream. I was like hyperventilating and I was just like ooh, 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 trying to go to sleep and just wish it would go away and I could not it was just standing there in my doorway so when I got up that morning I went in there and told my mother and I told my mother and I was like I had to tell you I seen somebody standing there it was like I seen this um a ghost standing there and I started crying because I'm like I know you are not gonna believe me I know you don't believe me you probably think I'm crazy I know you don't believe me and she's like baby yes I do yes I do and I was just like crying because I was like I know she wouldn't believe me mind you it was in another house she told me when I was little about two or three and an aunt had just passed and it was a great aunt to me great or great great aunt and she just passed and she said she was wondering where I was and it was dark and I was sitting in the living room and she said I was like two or three and this was at a different house and um regular neighborhood and she said all she see me was talking to somebody and she said I had just met that aunt before she passed I think like months before or some some time before but um and today i don't remember that aunt and i don't remember that situation but she said she comes she walks in there in the hallway and see me talking to somebody and she said i had my arm around him and i was just talking and smiling and had my arm around him and then all of a she said she seen me go bye wave bye bye and she said she took off running back to her bedroom and then she said lord let me go get my baby and ran back in <laughs> into the living room and snatched me up at the living room and took me to that uh took me to the bedroom with her now fast forward to the house where i seen the man at one night um me and my mom and my auntie we were sitting in my mom's room and my mom had these ceramic cats hanging on the wall. Okay, and we was watching TV. And they, she had them hanging on the wall. And all of a sudden, while we were sitting there, while the cats was hanging on the wall, they just burst. It was like, pow, pow, pow. So we all kind of look at my mother's like, what in the world? And they would just just burst in the air so she took off running out the room when she took off running out the room she ran into a kitchen when she ran into the kitchen she seen this man on our back patio trying to break into the house so this man was trying to break into the house and she was like um going off you better leave because i got a gun so she ran back to like to get her gun i got a gun because my mother was like school police 
And so when she come to go get the gun, and she said she had the gun, and my baby brother, which I only have one brother, my little brother had a little rubber boot in his hand, like he was getting ready to get them, beat them up with this rubber boot. <laughs> and um, she turns around, and when she come back, the guy had left. So we only, our only thoughts was that was a warning trying to tell us that somebody was trying to break in the house and whatever goes or whatever it is broke those cats in the um in the air and we just took off running i mean and she took off running and happened to see that and that was crazy and that was freak so and i i and i remember that too and that's crazy because i was little when that happened also so that was crazy now Let's fast forward again. This is when I'm grown and when I was married. Okay, so when I was married, um, my husband, me and him got in an argument earlier that day, that morning. We got in an argument. And I can't even remember what the argument was. Some no telling. So later on, then I went to go take my car to get it fixed, which was right around the corner from where I live. So I left the car there. So he went wherever he was, we left. Um, so I took my car to get it fixed. Um, and I always in my house, like I do now, I open all the blinds because I love the sunlight. I love the windows. I just feel like it just freshen up your, it just brightens your day. It just lightens up your day. You just need that to just make you feel good. So I always open my windows and he knew that. So I got home later on in the evening. So since my car was getting fixed, I just walked home and my kids daycare was right down the street so I picked them up from the daycare and I'm like this stuff is like a block or two blocks away the car getting fixed was like a block away and the getting the kids from the daycare was two blocks away so that was nothing so we was like I just went and got them we walked home but and so when I got home something told me do not close the blinds because my car wasn't there so now I'm like don't close the blinds so for some reason I did it so some told me because since we get in an argument to get the kids their bath and and my kids had a bunk bunk beds they had a full size at the bottom and the twin at the top and uh, so I hadn't had my third son yet so some told me to go in the kids room and go to sleep do not close the blinds and i'm thinking to myself why am i listening to this but i did it and see something about my kids room they had something up under their carpeting that made a whoosh, 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 whoosh sound i'm like you stepping on plastic whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. and you could hear that and the walls was kind of thin so I put them, they said, put them, some told me put them to bed early so they'll go to sleep. So I put them to bed. I went and slept in their room in a full size bed with the um, one of the kids and the other one slept up top. And I just stayed there. So my husband finally comes in and I kind of had the bed, the kids bedroom door cracked. And something told me, um, go to sleep, put them to bed early. I want you to hear something. And I'm like, why am I doing this? This seems crazy, right? So I was like, but I did it. And so he came, he came in, I guess took him a shower, whatever. And he laid in the bed and our rooms was the walls of connecting. He was kind of, you know, I lived in a small home. And I'm sitting up there and I um was laying in the bed and I hear him talking on the phone. And I'm like, let me get up and go in here and let him know I'm in here. This is stupid. So I'm like, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want you to hear something. And I'm like, why am I doing this? So I'm still in laying there. Wait a minute. So he's talking on the phone to somebody. La, 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 la. So eventually he hangs up. Or he was talking to somebody and he was like hung up and was talking to somebody else. Another call came in and his voice changed. So I'm laying there like, my ears perked up, like, why his voice changed like that? Like he trying to sound sexy or something on the phone. 
So I'm just sitting in there listening, laying on the bed. And whatever told me to do all this, I said, this is what I wanted you to hear. Listen. So I'm sitting there listening, and he talking all this stuff. And, and I'm like, what the hell? So I get out of the bed. So I get out of the bed, walks to the kid's room, and I hear the, you know, you hear this, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. he ain't hear it. So I go to my bedroom, and I stand in front of the doorway and looks at him. I said, who are you talking to? He almost had a heart attack. Because he did not know I was home. And he stood there and looked at me. And I said, who are you talking to? So I laid on the bed beside him. I said, who are you talking to on the phone? Who is that? And he like, let me hang up. I said, no, nah, you need to get it. And I got the phone and just started beating him with the phone. <laughs> but later on, after all that, I told him, got pissed, tell him to, kick, get, tell him to get out, kick the stuff out, get your stuff out my house, la, 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 la. Later on, he told me, he said it terrified him because he said he seen somebody standing beside me. And he used to be like, you, yo and your family, you a witch or something because you be figuring this stuff out. You be having dreams. You be figuring, I'm like, ain't nobody no witch. You got me mixed up because I'm very believe in God and spiritual. Ain't no big. He said, but I seen somebody standing beside you and it freaked me out and he scared me. And it scared me so much and he said, it terrified me because I seen them standing beside you. Somebody standing beside you. And um, and I, it was so funny. Stuff he used to do, I would have dreams and tell him about it. And would pinpoint stuff he did and it would terrify him. He's like, how did you notice? Know it's like I would get dreams of stuff he was doing. And um, it was hard for him to do stuff even though he did do stuff. And we ended up divorced. Because I got a couple other stories like that. But maybe that's a, for another day. But, um... Anyway, that's for another day. I'll tell y'all a story about that on another day. But um, it was just funny how that happened. Another day in that same house, my son used to have this little toy phone he used to play with. And you push it and be like, you know, ding, ding, ding. You had to push the little buttons. Well, one night, I'm laying there out of nowhere. And it's never happened before. And it's never happened after. We laying there. And the phone just got to playing in the middle of the night in his um, playpen. His playpen was in the living room. My room was off to the living room. And the phone just got to... I jumped up. I'm like, what in the world? I almost had a heart attack. I almost had a heart attack. But after that, he still had that phone and never did it. Before that time, it never did it. Another time in that same house when me and my husband was together, we was laying there asleep. And the lights just, remember we were in there laying there asleep. The lights, just, everything was off. We thought, and all of a sudden the lights came on in the living room. He said he was so terrified of that house. He was terrified of everything. He was just terrified. I wish he was here to tell the story because me and him are friends. He would tell the story. He said, it, it doesn't make any sense. And it just scared him so. It, it, and it, was, it wasn't it was funny, but it was funny because how he reacted. And he was a gangster gangster. I'm telling you, he was not, you know what I'm saying, be in the hood. He was not to be played with. And that stuff terrified him. So, you know, I just wanted to come in here and just tell y'all. So I got other stories, y'all. If you want to hear them, let me know. I want y'all to um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I thank y'all guys for watching, but I get other stories and maybe some other day I tell y'all some other stories and if you want to hear them, let me know. Even with my boys even seeing stuff and, uh, stuff happening with them. Um, but I, I even got my baby boy, he don't even like watching paranormal movies because of something happened with him and he's terrified and terrified till he was younger and he's 22 now he talks about he's terrified to this day um and he tells the story so um if y'all guys want to hear him just let me know uh i just wanted to tell y'all a couple of them stories i seen somebody else i don't know her name do uh, a video talking about paranormal stuff and it just brought back memories and i said i wanted to do a video on that so yeah if y'all guys are more interested, 
let me know y'all have a blessed one um thank you for watching and until next time y'all peace